My name is Mark Powell, I'm a bespoke tailor and I've been around so 32 years. A lot of my style and influence is very much about that post-war period and subcultures of style which lean into the whole spirit of what Sarah was all about. Hi, I'm Emily Rawson. I run a bunch of hip-hop and R&B nights in London, Rock the Bells, which is an all-female hip-hop night, and Super Duper Fly, we do parties all over London. I'm also a DJ, I do mixes for BBC Radio 1 Extra, and kind of play all over the world, really. It was always full of good record yes, shops around this area. Exactly. There was always a lot of great stores. Yeah. Right? I used to search the record shops when I was younger to try and find bootlegs, to try and find tunes that I couldn't get anywhere else. There were so many amazing record shops around here. Well, I opened my shop in Sarah in 1985, so I've been around here 32 oh, years now. I know, I know, when you see what I mean. So I'm very inspired by being around this Carnaby Street area because for me, it's a great stage what I'm all about, which is being a bit more of a maverick, rather than more like the normal Savile Row thing. My thing is a way of using tailoring to express more, you know, individual style. Mm. Done pretty much everybody of significant probably over the last 30 years, really, mm. coming from people like David Bowie, Brian Ferry. And what's interesting is a lot of the celebrities then sort of connect up the type of clients you get coming through the shop. Mm. The Paul Weller thing in recent times, has created a whole big interest with the whole modernist and mod guys. Mm -hmm. But that's actually not so sort of so much pigeonholed in that whole 60s mod idea. And I think this area goes very much in tune with that, particularly historically. But there's always been a pool of good creativity in, around here as well, which I think is important. You know, there's always been a lot of artisans and great people. But a lot of the things that I was into, which was all the disco and funk music at that time, uh, has now been totally embraced by everybody because oh they yeah, realise now how amazingly significant a lot of that music was. My musically. peak era would be the late 90s yeah. into the early, early 90s, 90s, which is yeah. another very interesting, yeah. different phase and that of music. Would be you know, the hip hop, yeah, probably hip hop, yeah. That's what yeah. I grew up with. Yeah, that's what right. I love, and that's why I was searching for those record yeah. shops in Soho every weekend. Wow, I started DJing when I was about 17. Okay. Some boys at school had decks, and I was like, let me have a go, let me have a go. Yeah. And then um, I was really good at it, better than them actually. So you just realised you had a really good Yeah, gift, really good ear for it. And yeah. you just had it. Yeah, it's all kind of built from there. And then I got a job in events working in Soho. Um, in the sort of mid noughties and that's how I kind of built up my DJ and promoting yeah. career. When you started, what was your big thing with style at that time? Well, I think when I first started, you know, I was like 17, 18, so I'm looking at people like Missy, Missy yeah, Elliott, sure, sure. you know, and I'm wearing I'm big hoops, yeah. always Nike Air Maxes, yeah. loads of skinny jeans, baggy tops. Yeah. I mean, I still have a huge trainer obsession. Cool. So I'm always in Soho, foot yeah. patrol, yeah. looking for trainers, looking for new yeah. releases. Yeah. But yeah, you can't say that you're not sport for choice for good places to eat. That's oh, for you're sure. certainly not. The great thing is now you've got such a lot of good choice mm. and on Kingley Street itself. Yeah, yeah. Some great restaurants there. there.